Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. Thank you. Your happiness makes narcissists miserable. Narcissists are already miserable, but your happiness reminds them of their misery. It causes their discomfort, distress and unhappiness to come to the surface. And this is why they're always so bitter, resentful, dissatisfied, disgruntled and passive aggressive. Because of their bad experiences and a sense of unjust treatment. Where they experience distressing and disastrous situations, misfortune, setbacks and disappointment in their childhood. And they felt like they were treated badly in a way that they do not deserve, which is why they're always playing the victim. Because this is the program they're running off in their minds. This is their hard wiring, based on what they went through in their childhood. And it's why they act this way with you. Because their happiness is not like yours. And any time that you're happy, it reminds them of that fact, of how you can be happy so easily and effortlessly and yet they can't find a reason to be happy for anything in their lives. Which may be because they don't have anything valuable or meaningful. Or they may have everything they want. And yet they're still bitter and miserable because they're envious and jealous. They desire to have your qualities, possessions or other, other desirable attributes. So they may become hostile towards you. Because they see you enjoying an advantage that they can't have or can't experience in the same way as you do. So then they become fiercely protective or vigilant over you, as though you're their possession, because they're experiencing emotional pain at witnessing your good fortune. Or maybe they want all of your attention for themselves, and yet they have to watch you show an interest in someone or something else. Even if you have less, even if what you have is nothing in comparison to what they have, it still bothers and irritates them. Because it's you and not them, and their happiness is not like yours. They can't get the same fulfillment as you do. They may have everything, but they're still miserable. Even though they have more houses and cars and more success. And it's really obvious when someone is jealous of you, because you will feel like they're trying to control your life. They will always be checking up on you. They will be telling you what to do, what not to do and how to act. And they may even limit your contact with friends or co-workers. They may try to isolate you. They may also copy you, overemphasize your achievements, misguide you through bad tips and recommendations, bombard you with uncomfortable questions, take satisfaction in your mistakes and failures, be overly competitive, make excuses to pull away or not to see you, be overly critical of you, take credit for your work, cut you off during a conversation, demotivate you, make sarcastic, indirect and negative remarks, humiliate you in the presence of other people, gossip about you, downplay your achievements and it will seem like they hate you for no apparent reason and yet while some jealous people will avoid you some will always want to be around you and it's because they're very insecure so they need an outlet for the bad energy building inside of them they may also have a fear of inadequacy fear of abandonment fear of being replaced and fear of being judged and this will breed suspicion doubt and mistrust they're jealous and envious because they're making comparisons. They're constantly considering and estimating the similarities and dissimilarities between you and them or themselves at another person. So you're either someone they decide to be with or they view you as their competition. And if they view you as their competition, it's because they feel inferior to you. They feel inadequate in comparison to you. They feel like they could never measure up. They're jealous because they fear losing you as their source of supply. They fear that you may be a lot happier without them. And this is a feeling they can't avoid or control. 
They envy you because they're evaluating their self-worth and well-being in comparison to yours. And they see that you possess qualities, achievements and other desirable attributes that they lack but want and need. So they feel envy towards you. And this is why they don't respect you or regard you with warm approval. It's why they don't want to regard you as something impressive or worthy of respect, even though you may be a wonderful person. Because you're satisfied and pleased with yourself and with what you have. You're appreciative. You're filled with gratitude. You can live in the moment and focus all of your attention on the present moment without worrying about the past or future. Unless you're reminiscing over memories that you've made or daydreaming about the future. And that just kills them inside because it's not like that for them. Even if they do become successful, even if they do achieve whatever it was that they envied in another person or whatever they thought they want, they're still unhappy and that's what makes them bitter, hurt and resentful because it's so easy for you. Even if you had it all and they ruined your life and took it all away from you, and then a few months later they peered into your life again, they would still be mad because you'd still find a reason to be happy and they'd still be miserable. Even if they have everything that they took from you, they could be living in your house with their new partner, driving your car and taking trips around the world with your money while you're out on the street with nothing and they'd still be miserable and mad at you because their happiness is not like yours. They can't get the same fulfillment as you do. So as long as you're living and breathing, they're still going to be bitter and they're going to try to limit and control you as much as they can because they don't want to be reminded of how much happier and fulfilled you are than them. But even if they did manage to take your life, that still wouldn't fill the emptiness that they feel inside. They're going to be bitter until the day they die. They're going to be bitter until the very end. They're not going to get better as they age. They're going to get worse. Because the more failures and disappointments they experience, the worse they feel and the more bitter and resentful they become. Well, it's not like that for you which is why they're always on you. It's why they bombard you with simultaneously with so many things and they pile all of these unnecessary duties and responsibilities onto you because they can see that nothing is keeping you down. If it was, they might have stopped you a long time ago or maybe they wouldn't because even then they're never satisfied, which is why they just never seem to let up with the abuse. And in some cases they're on you until the day they die because you're still able to find peace and happiness within yourself and they can't. Which is why you may feel like you're walking on eggshells whenever you're around them and you're afraid to smile or be happy. Or maybe it's just because you have empathy so you don't want to upset them or get under their skin. And they see that. They notice when you grey rock and that just irritates them even more. Because it reminds them that you're only doing that because you know that they're miserable so they see it as an attack. They see it as though, they're, as though you're hurting them. And then they're just going to ramp up the abuse even more because they want you to feel how they feel inside. They want to project their emotions onto you, just as we may want to project our happiness onto them. But they're not happy, they're miserable. And that's why they don't want you to be happy. They just want you to be an outsider, an observer of their fake happiness. So at least in that moment, they can feel like they have something. They can feel like they're happy. They can feel like they're experiencing life in the way that you do. Because when they see you, even if they had any morals before that, that's all gone out the window because they would kill for your life. And some of them will quite literally cheat, lie and steal to have what you have because they want it that bad. But even if they had it, it wouldn't make a difference because it only looked good because you had it. Just because they've got it now, it doesn't mean they're going to feel like you do. And that's what they don't understand. And it just eats away at them because they can't be happy. It's not possible for narcissistic people to be happy because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. 
And happiness comes from gratitude and giving, not from buying and having. So they can only pretend to be happy, which is why they're still bitter. And it's not because you've done anything to them. It's because you're happy and they're not. And yet they're stuck in this endless cycle of thinking that they need to achieve more to be happy. Which is why they will often question you about your happiness. Or they will try to make you believe that you, know, you need to have a particular thing in order to be happy. Because that's just how it is for them. They can't be happy, so then they will feel like life is unfair. Even though they may have done all of these things to you and try to ruin your happiness, they will still feel like it's unfair. Because they're comparing their lack of happiness to your sense of happiness. They're not thinking about anything they've done. It doesn't even cross their minds because you're still happy. And they will look at your life and your possessions and assume that they deserve more because they're arrogant and entitled. They believe they deserve more just because they exist. Not because they put in the work or because they achieve something, but just because they see you have it and they want it. And this is why the world is the way that it is today, where people believe they should have everything just because they exist, not because they actually put in the work to earn it. A lot of people in the world are like big babies and they expect people to cater to them. They have a grandiose sense of entitlement without, any, without anything of value to offer to anyone which has only produced social degeneration. But it's because so many people think they are deserved of privileges and special treatment when they haven't even put in the work. And even when they get it, it just makes them even more unhappy because deep down they know they don't deserve it. They know they don't have the qualifications or experience. All they have is this grandiose sense of entitlement, which doesn't serve anyone but themselves. And if they don't get what they want, they will become bitter and emotions are contagious, especially negative emotions, because negative emotions are more contagious than positive emotions, which means that if you are around them, you may catch their emotional state in the same way that you would catch a contagious illness, which is why you should always examine your emotional state before and after dealing with them and notice the change in your emotions and your state of mind and after dealing with them, just go back to loving yourself. Practice self-love, because that is your greatest defense against narcissistic behavior. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at payable.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.